there so this is my vinyl collection i am gonna be showing you all my vinyls i do have a lot more but those are all rolling stones vinyls from my dad um about 40 i think <laughs> so i'm not gonna be showing those i'm gonna show you every single vinyl that i own i'm gonna be doing this in alphabetical order just for the fun of it and i am gonna be and I am going to be ranking all the albums as well. Um, hopefully give you some new music inspiration. So yeah, let's start. I'm going to start off with the letter A, which is obviously Arctic Monkeys. This is an amazing album. Amazing on vinyl. This is AM by Arctic Monkeys. It has one of their most popular songs on it, Do I Wanna Know? Also, Are You Mine and Arabella, Knee Socks, I Wanna Be Yours, Snap Out Of It. This literally is one of their biggest albums. Amazing Vibes gives you very 2014 grunge Tumblr vibes. Um, and I am gonna give this probably an 8 out of 10. And my favorite song of this album, I think, is either Mad Sounds or Arabella. Yeah, Arabella. Okay, and then I have another Arctic Monkeys vinyl. I would love to get all their vinyls at some point, but I'm not there yet. This is Favorite Worst Nightmare. Popular songs of this album are Fluorescent Adolescent and 505, also Brian Storm, I'd say. My favorite song of this album is probably D is for Dangerous or Teddy Picker um, or maybe Only Ones Who Know. Um, it's like a very calm, slow song after all the heavier songs. Uh, this album is amazing. I don't really feel like I can compare it to the previous one because the sounds are completely different, but you can still really recognize Arctic Monkeys in it. Um, I am going to be giving this an 8 out of 10 as well. Then moving on to the letter B. I have three vinyls in that category. Uh, Blossoms. All three um, are from Blossoms. They are one of my favorite bands all time. Um, discovered them back in 2015 when I heard their hit Charlemagne on the radio for the first time. And last year I randomly decided to listen to all of their other songs and I just, I fell in love immediately. And now I have tickets to their show next year. Um, that has been postponed for so many times. Yeah, they just, their music makes me so happy. Um, so this obviously has Charlemagne on it. The other ones aren't really super popular, um, but my favorite song of this album is probably Smashed Pianos. Um, it has an amazing vibe, like a certain nostalgic vibe to it. I'm not really sure how to explain it. It just kind of feels like you're in an entirely different dimension when you're listening to that song. And this entire album is just amazing. So I'm gonna be giving this a 9 out of 10 because I love it. And then my other Blossoms final. This one is actually their album from last year. This is called A Foolish Loving Spaces. Very nice as well, completely different sound, but still really the Blossoms style. It has their hit Your Girlfriend on it, I think. It's like one of their bigger hits. Um, it's an amazing song. That is kind of the song that made me fall in love with them a year ago. But my favorite song of this album is Romance or Oh No, I Think I'm In Love. Just a really cute album. Lots of cute upbeat songs, I'd say, in a very cool, funky indie style. 8 out of 10. Definitely check this out. Then my last Blossoms vinyl is one that they've released in December last year when we were all at home in isolation and they did a few covers, uh, some of their own songs as well. Um, this is actually a double vinyl. 
I'll get to that later. So uh, this one has a lot of covers and some of their own songs that they sung at home. Very cute. And then the other side, the other vinyl in it, is a live album where they performed at the Plaza Theatre in Stockport. And Stockport is actually their hometown, if I'm correct. Um, so that's really amazing. And honestly, the live sounds so perfect. It sounds amazing. I cannot wait to see them. 7.5 out of 10 for this one, I'd say. And probably an 8.5 for this one. Then moving on to C. I do not have a vinyl in every letter of the alphabet. It just so happens to be like this for the first three letters. Um, I have two. So I'm going to start with this. Catfish and the Bowman. One of my favorite bands of all time. This is The Balcony, their very first album. It has amazing hits on it like Cocoon and Kathleen. Um, also Rango. My favorite is probably 26 or Tyrants or Fallout. Just oh, the vibes when you're listening to this album are insane. Um, I love that my boyfriend and I just so happen to have the exact same taste in music so we can both vibe to this album. 9 out of 10. 9.5 out of 10. It's a masterpiece. And then I have another Catfish in the Bottom Man album. This is their second album, which is called The Ride. It has bigger songs, I'd say, on it, like Seven. Um, that's it, I think. <laughs> and my favorite would be maybe Anything or Outside. I don't know, it has a lot of good songs on it. Um, it's slightly different to the first album um but it's still really nice and i think i give it a one eight point five out of ten i'd say i like this one just a little bit less than the other one but all their music are amazing so then i have this one starting with the letter n um i actually found this at the thrift store uh, like a year ago I think two years ago um, it was really cheap and I was like sure I'll, I'll just get it why not this is Nena which is a German band for the people who don't know you have probably heard the song 99 Luftballons which in English is 99 hot air balloons sounds so weird um, it was a really big hit and Basically, all of their other songs, I think, were never really a hit. But there are some pretty good songs on here. For example, Noir Geträumt or um, Kino. I really like this. I am really into the German language, so which is why I'm kind of interested in this kind of music as well. But it's just an amazing German rock band. Um, so that's a really great thrift find. I think I give this a 7 out of 10 just because I don't really know all the songs on here. Then I have something with the letter T. One of my favorite bands as well. I keep saying that, but it's just the truth. Talking Heads. It's amazing. It's just amazing. The songs are weird, I think. They don't really fit into one specific genre. Um, it's kind of a weird combination between indie, funky pop, also new wave. Sometimes it's not really singing, it's more like talking. You've probably heard Once in a Lifetime. It's not on this album, but it's one of their um, biggest hits. And their other really big hit is on this album, which is called A Psycho Killer. Amazing song, but it has a lot of other really great songs that you definitely have to check out. For example, Tentative Decisions or New Feeling, Pulled Up, um, just all amazing, amazing vibes. I keep saying that, I just don't know how else to describe it. It's just an amazing album and an amazing band. I think I'll give this an 8.5 out of 10. And then my very last one, 
Um, also one of my favorite pens. I literally only buy <laughs> vinyls from pens. I am planning on getting a lot more vinyls though. This is Calm from 5 Seconds of Summer. Um, amazing album. It is so different from their first album. They were in like a pop punk kind of phase and this is just more towards pop but still kind of keeping their sound if that makes sense it's amazing it really shows how they're growing up and it's been an amazing journey to watch them grow up since 2014 um, because that's when i became a fan and i actually ordered this last year uh, just the regular edition and then they called me, like the company that I ordered it from, they called me and they were like, yeah, um, we're actually out of stock. Uh, we only have the limited edition left. Is it okay if we send you that one instead? And I was like, yeah, that's more than okay. <laughs> because you're gonna see why it's pink. It's literally pink. It's so cute and I love it. I'm so happy with this. My favorite song of this album is, without a doubt, Wildflower. First time listening to this album, I immediately fell in love with Wildflower. So yeah, but all these songs are amazing. Um, I think I'm gonna give this an 8.5 out of 10, maybe a nine, not sure. Um, has my heart, five seconds of summer is amazing. Um, yeah <laughs> i don't really have too many vinyls but i am really planning on getting a lot more soon hopefully for my birthday i really want to get some more vinyls from declan mckenna um oasis arctic monkeys just too many honestly so many so many um hopefully i will be able to get them one day um but for now this was it I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found some new music inspiration. Um, I will link all the albums below um, with the artist so that you can look it up. I'll see you next time. Please like and subscribe. It would really, really help me. And I love you all. Stay safe. Until the next video.